In this video, I will show you exactly how I use ChatGPT to make an Arduino script for me, which simulates traffic lights. So for example, if you go to the website openai.com, you can try the ChatGPT software. Uh, for example, if we want to start out uh, with a simple project, uh, software like blinking an LED with an Arduino, we can just type in, write Arduino script for blinking LED. Now you see it's actually coming up in a few seconds actually with a decent script which you can use to actually blink an LED. And you see it's also explaining, explaining how the uh, code is working so you don't have to figure it out yourself. And this is very, very useful if you're just starting out with programming or uh, Arduino in general. So if we want to do a little more complex code, we can say, for example, upgrade this script to let the LED fade. And in a few seconds, again, it will rewrite this code and it will make sure for us that actually the LED will fade. So you see it's using a for loop with 255 uh, values, it, it uh, uses analog write and it integrates a small delay. So it will increment and decrement the, the fade. And you see here again, it's explaining how the code is working. So for example, we wanted to make uh, a code which was simulating traffic lights. Uh, it could be a nice project for you if you were just starting out with Arduino and ChatGPT. So what we do is we can just type in upgrade, upgrade this script to uh, three LEDs which simulate traffic lights. And you see in a few seconds again it will exactly explain which pins you have to use on the board. These are just examples. You can use almost any pins. So it's making in the setup uh, three outputs, which are the LEDs, of course. You can see it used the green, the yellow and the red light. It will wait for five seconds and then it will trigger the traffic lights. So here it is again explaining how it works. So in the loop, it first turn, turns on the green uh, LED, turns on off the yellow and the red LEDs and wait for five seconds. Then it turns off the green LED, turns on the yellow, yellow uh, LED and waits for three seconds. So you see just how easy it is to actually uh, push your projects with this ChatGPT tool. So for example, if we want to make it a little more complex again, we can, uh, let's say, use an ultrasonic sensor to actually trigger the traffic lights. So uh, if you're not familiar with ultrasonic sensors, these are just sensors which uh, send the sound waves and they just uh, measure the time which, uh, which takes for the, the sound waves to actually uh, yeah, bounce back into the sensor. Uh, so yeah, we can say something like upgrade this code uh, and implement uh, ultrasonic sensor. The, for example, the uh, HCSR04 to trigger the traffic lights. So you see it's actually explaining how it is using the ultrasonic sensor to trigger uh, the traffic lights. So it's now defining a trigger pin and an echo pin. Uh, these are uh, yeah, actually necessary uh, for the Arduino script to calculate the distance based on the time it takes to uh, receive the signal back, sound signal. So it's making some variables here. And this is actually uh, a default script, which is used for like almost every 
ultrasonic uh, sensor. So uh, you know what the, the speed of sound is and based on the time it takes to receive the sound after it bounces back, you can uh, calculate what the distance is. And then it's using this uh, distance as a threshold to actually uh, trigger the, the traffic lights. So you see if the distance is smaller than the threshold distance, it will actually trigger the green red, uh, the green LED uh, high with a small delay. So you can see here, it actually has made a little summary of how the code is working. And this shows how easy it is to use ChatGPT for your Arduino projects. Uh, I will make a few uh, more tutorials about how you can use this uh, powerful tool for some other projects. So uh, make sure you subscribe to the, to the channel and I will see you in the next one.